Hi guys, today on Diva Skin Cook, we are taking fresh cabbage, a whole lot of bacon, some fresh onions and garlic, and we are creating some good old, old fashioned soul food, comfort food, fried cabbage. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good and it is easy to make, so let's go. All right, there she is, our head of cabbage. Are right, we gonna start by cutting our cabbage in half and then we're gonna cut those halves into quarters just like this so you have four little pieces here and then we're gonna cut out the um, core I don't like this part it's very hard and kind of chewy so I always cut out the core just slice it right down the middle just like that get rid of that little hard part okay now we can start cutting this cabbage into little strips I like to use strips that are about I don't know maybe an inch thick or so yeah just like that and I remember in my last cabbage video somebody was like oh girl you don't have no knife skills didn't you go to culinary school mm -hmm. And I was like, yes, honey. Yes, I went to culinary school. I went to Grandma Barb's Culinary School of the South. And honey, honey, there are no knife skills there, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. The only thing, only requirement is to get it done and make it taste good. Because my Grandma Barb is gangsta with a knife, okay? She need no knife skills. Mm -mm, ain't no knife skills. Okay, so we are done cutting up our cabbage. It looks good. It's perfectly cut. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our onion. Go ahead and just dice your little onion up. I like to dice it up into little small pieces because my boys are so picky and they'll be like, oh my gosh, this has onion. So yeah, I dice mine up really, really, really fine. I use about a half of a, um, a yellow onion. So go ahead and do that. Look at that, perfect little dices. And now I'm going to do my bacon. I am using turkey bacon. I had posted a, um, a video on my Instagram of me frying bacon. And you guys were like, what kind of bacon is that? It's turkey bacon. It's the Applegate turkey bacon and I love it. It is so, so good. We love this bacon. Okay, so I have got my bacon all chopped up and now I'm gonna add it to my hot pan. Go ahead and dump that bacon into that hot pan. And as you can see, I am using a whole bunch of bacon because you guys, oh my gosh, I need bacon with every single bite of cabbage. Lots of bacon with every single bite of cabbage. It's like, I don't know, I just feel so happy and whole when I have a lot of bacon. It's like bacon therapy. So you don't have to add this much bacon if you don't want to, but it's, I'm pretty sure this is the right thing to do. I'm pretty sure that this is what God wants me to do, so that's why I did it. Okay, that looks good, okay? Yeah, cook your bacon. You can burn it. I like mine burnt, but I didn't burn it this time. But yeah, cook it until it's nice and crisp. Okay, I'm gonna leave about a tablespoon of that oil in the pan with all those little bits and stuff in the pan. Don't get rid of all those little burnt pieces, honey. Leave that there. There's my onion going in. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar because I want these onions to kind of be caramelized a little bit. It's gonna taste so good, those nice sweet onions with the um, smoky bacon and the cabbage. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, so don't skip that sugar with that onion. It's gonna make it taste good and get it nice and sticky and caramelized. And as you cook those onions, all that yumminess will begin to lift from the pan, deglaze the pan, if you will. Okay, now we're gonna add in our garlic. Oh, y'all, mm -hmm, lots and lots of garlic. Yes, ma'am. I love a lot of garlic with my cabbage. It's just so good. Okay, so go ahead and add that garlic. We're gonna cook this until the garlic is fragrant. It won't take long at all. And now we're gonna add in a little bit of heat. I'm gonna add in some red pepper flakes. Not a lot, you can put a little bit more if you like and a little bit more spicy. Yeah. Then we're gonna add in some butter, okay? Because we need some butter for this fried cabbage. We're gonna fry our cabbage in butter. Yeah, comfort food, comfort. This is all about comfort. Okay, so we're gonna add our cabbage to the pan and it will begin to wilt down fairly quick because that pan is hot, honey. It's gonna fry that cabbage pretty quickly. So just keep frying it, keep tossing it around until everything gets nice and coated. And it's so funny that I'm eating cabbage now that I'm older because when I was younger, I hated it. I hated cabbage. And it was only because it reminded me of this little boy in my class named Lewis. Lewis used to always pester me. Oh, stinking Lewis. But that's what he smelled like, cabbage, so yeah. But now I love cabbage, I love it so much. Okay, next step, we're gonna add our seasonings, lots of pepper, lots of salt, and then some onion powder and garlic powder. Gonna keep it really simple, really that's all you need. You know, that salt will really help bring everything out, but don't salt it too much because now we have to add in our bacon. All that bacon, that salty bacon, mm-hmm. Yeah, dump it all in there and just go ahead and toss this around. It look happy. I like this part. I get so happy with this part because it's just like, mm, 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 mm. It's about to be some magic. Okay, I made me some cornbread because you gotta have cornbread with cabbage. It's fried cabbage. You gotta have cornbread. And it's a complete meal just like that. Y'all, look at that. Mm, bless it. But if you want to serve this as a side dish, it goes good with like meatloaf or roasted chicken. But uh-uh, I like it just a full meal just like this cornbread sweet tea i'm happy girl i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos later